Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. It is important that you understand some basic terms and concepts involved in creating and using tables and databases if you want to create more complex types of reports using Crystal Reports. Obviously, the deeper your knowledge of relational database design and structure is, the easier it will be to understand Crystal Reports and its place in the information storage and retrieval process. However, it's not required that you be a whiz with manipulating data tables to create basic reports. The fundamental data storage object is the table. You store all of the data that you want to collect about a certain subject, like your employees, into the base tables within your database. A database is simply a storage container that typically contains multiple tables. Tables have a structure within which they hold their data. Tables consist of columns and rows of information. The columns each hold a certain type of data, like last name, and they are called fields. The fields within a table represent all of the different types of information that you want to collect about the subject of your table. So for example, if you had an employee table, you would probably have fields for things like the first name, the last name, the position, and the hire date, and other related types of data that you want to collect about those employees. When you then enter the field information for a single item into a table, you place all of the data for the item into a single row in the table, which is called a record. For example, if you had an employee for whom you want to make an entry within the employee table, you would simply enter all of the data for each field into the next available row within the table to create the employee record. Many times the data that you want to display within a single report is stored within multiple tables. In a relational database you have many tables of information which are related to each other through information that is stored in common or shared fields. Now in order to do that, each table must have a field that contains unique values for each record, like a social security number field or an employee ID field. This field is called the primary key of the table. Then, in the table to which you want to relate the employees in this example, you must have another field that contains the same exact information. However, within the related table, the data that is stored in that same column is not unique. So this is often called the foreign key field. So you relate the primary key within one table to a foreign key within another table. For example, if you had an orders table, you would have fields within that table for things like order ID, which would be the primary key within that table, but also the order date, as well as the employee ID, which would be the foreign key, which then relates the employees to the orders. The fields are then linked so that when you create reports in Crystal Reports, the records are then related by the common field which they share, in this case, the same employee ID. This allows you to access information within either of the tables. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.